Hey guys, Samia here, wedding and portrait photographer. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk about how to sell albums specifically with PicTime. I recently moved over to PicTime from Pixie Set, which I talked about in other YouTube videos. Um, and it has been a game changer in generating more print sales, specifically with albums. So I'm gonna show you how to set up your store, how to pick your suppliers, how to create, pick your pricing, and how to automate sales for selling more albums in your photography business all in this video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is set up what products we're even offering to be available to purchase in our store, right? So when you first log into PickTime, you'll be on this main screen here. What you want to do is go down into settings and then go into store pricing. So what you'll see here is these are all of the products that people can buy in your store. If it's checked and active, that means it's available. Someone could buy it. So what that looks like on the client side is like this is a wedding gallery that I delivered. This is what my client sees, their wedding day broken up you know, into each part. But if they click on shop or they click this and they wanna buy it, they're gonna be brought here to pick out which products they wanna buy, right? So that's how they're gonna see it. Whatever you have checked here is something that's available on their end. So what I did for me, this video specifically about selling albums, is I actually disabled, they have an option for an everyday album and like there was another album that I think was here, um, flat lay album, it's lay flat album is somewhere. Um, here, lay flat album, everyday album, and then they have fine art albums. So PickTime has already partnered with a bunch of different suppliers to make the, these products. And they're all different suppliers, right? So some some fine art albums in here might be being supplied by different people and different suppliers. So what I wanted to do was not make my clients have to choose between what kind of album because I just wanted the best, highest quality. So I just disabled the everyday album, the lay flat album to make it simple. I only want the best for my, for my branding and my clients. So I only want the fine art albums. So let's go into here and see what that looks like. Okay, so once you've you know picked all your products, let's go into one of these products. So find our album. Let's click edit price. And when we go in here, you can see at the top here, these are the types of this product that clients will be able to choose from. Leather, leather-like, linen, premium, velvet, wrapped. So what you can do is go in here and disable or enable certain things. So for me, I wanted leather. Yes, they can buy a leather. I don't want them to be able to buy a leather-like because I don't really know if that would be you know, the best quality. I like the linen um, premium. I didn't want them to be able to buy because that'd be a different supplier that I don't really know of. I really like Red Tree. Um, so you get the idea. You're gonna come in here and craft that client experience for your clients. I'd love for them to be able to buy Velvet albums, which I don't think Red Tree offers. So this would be a different supplier and then wrapped a different supplier. So I researched what these things look like from these suppliers and picked what I like for my brand and business. Um, that's how I settled on what to enable disable here. Once you do that, within that, so they can buy a leather album that's 20 pages, 10 by 10, 8 by 8, 12 by 12. Um, and then what, I think there's defaults here for markups and presets. Um, you can mark it up a certain percentage or on the price or on the cost to you. So either way, um, I think it is defaulted in here to have, a, obviously to have a markup. Um, so I've just been keeping the default. I think I, I might have taken it down like $100, but it does have um, deep, you know, default settings, ways to ship it to you first, shipping calculator, all of that. So you can also change the supplier if you want to um, of each thing. So that's how I like to do it. I keep it super simple and you can see um, your margins and how much you're going to profit off of each of these album sales. So really, really easy to set up this part of the store. Okay, so once you have all that set up, you have your you know things selected, you've edited this, let's go ahead and set up an automation. And I have another YouTube video specifically on how to work with automations and set them up. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna get out of here, go back into sales and automations, and then you'll click one of these campaigns. So let's see, do they have anything for like albums, um, holiday album sales, maybe, maybe we're doing it for the holidays. Let's install the app. And I have another YouTube video, like I said, on just this ad automation app. Um, this is going to take 30% off of all the prices that you just set. It's going to run for 14 days. You see how all of this is pre-written. Um, as soon as you, you know, you can go through and just make sure that they look like they sound like you and all of that. But basically this is going to send a chain of emails to your gallery clients that you've sent their gallery. 
about the album sale and then they can you know select from that store we just created and purchase their album um and they just type in this code and the emails to them explain how that all works so super simple you'll click save once so once it's here all you have to do after you've set it up just now is assign it to uh, people or galleries so assign to galleries you'll pick okay you know which type if you wanted to divide it by weddings you can pick all your weddings here super easy to do that's the best way i do it these are all my weddings so i'll select all and then i would apply it i'm not going to do that because this is a youtube video and it's not the holidays right now but that's how you would do it you would verify that you are sending those emails to the actual clients within the gallery so you know that you're not just sending it to random people um and then you would just decide when this is going to start click apply and you should be good to go so that's how you set up the automation okay so i'm going to show you now how to take your album sales to literally the next level by showing you how to create an album design for your clients right so you'll come in with well, the way this works it's kind of tricky the first time but once you see it once it'll make total sense so when you come into pick time this is how you get your client galleries Click on one of your weddings. I'm going to click on Brittany and Dominic and just click the view. Um, now I'm seeing the gallery the way my clients have seen it, the way they see it on their end. So let's go down in here. Um, you're going to click on store. Then I'm going to say, okay, here's the fine art albums. I'm going to click fine art albums. And I want to make a design for this album, right? So click new design. And yeah, they, they, they said ready to view your automated album. I'll click view album. And then it will pre-populate with all these photos. So this is pick time, just pre-populating the album. Um, the size, linen, um, I can change it to leather if I want, all of that. So this is what pick time has you know, pre-designed pre and you can go in and edit each of these. And then what you'll do next to send it to your clients is over here. Okay, then once you're in here, you'll click send to visitors. Um, I'm going to create a new just because I want to send it to myself, not the actual client. Um, I'm going to do my just iCloud account send product. Um, now, this is where you can, it's been added to their store. So when they're in their store, they can see it. But this is what I want to do. I want to notify a user by email that I've made them a design. So I went in and I created an email design template. And it just says, hey, I designed an album for you. So you can do that in the email packages area. And then for each of my weddings, I went in, made them a design. It's just like this, the process I showed you. Send email is going to send, um, it's going to save you products. You know, it's, it shows them how to access their design. I'm going to send this to myself right now. Send email. Um, email will be sent. And that's basically how you create an album for your client and notify them that you have done that. Make sure you use code SAMIA, S-A-M-I-A, when you do make a pick time account because you can get one free month from me to you um, to generate sales and just use the, the software within your business. Um, I do also have free email templates down below for some of these things I talked about and just other email templates for wedding photographers. So make sure to check that out and I will see you guys next week here on YouTube.